talk about the middle games, which is probably the most intense bit of the game, where all the attacks and stuff happen. Wouldn't, do you want to get in the middle game? Then develop and castle. Let's develop castle too. You can't forget to castling. And once you've done that, you're in the middle game. But maybe your opponent is not. You might be, but not your opponent. So if you, if only you are in the middle game, then you can stop attacking. If they are, then they can stop attacking. If you both are, then you both stop attacking. So the middle game is actually quite part of the game because you could learn more about your, your opponent's strengths, strengths and weaknesses, how sensitive they are and and defensive because most of the interesting things happen in the middle game, not much in the opening and not much in the end game. And you may be thinking in the end game, well, that's when the checkmating happens. But there could be checkmating in the opening, in the middle game. It's possible. Yeah, in the next chapter, we are going to talk about the end game. Bye!